Hi, I'm Deb and I'm the creator of this expense tracker. So this is a tutorial on how to copy over my expense tracker from my drive onto your drive. And the old tutorials I had are a bit redundant now, unfortunately, because Google has changed their shareable settings and you can no longer just copy over a Google sheet and have the forms copy over as well. You actually have to copy all three files and then relink them. So this is a tutorial on how to do that and you'll have to make a few adjustments and hopefully this makes sense to you. So you'll just be on my website and I highly recommend you do this on desktop and not on mobile. So you just press this link and then it will open into a tab like this and make sure that you're signed into your Google account because otherwise you won't be able to copy it over. So all you have to do is select three of these files, go to the three dots and make a copy. Then go to my drive and you'll see they're all copied over. And the first thing that we do is just rename them. So I'm just going to call my Deb's expense tracker and then rename this to income form. And rename this one to expenses form. And then create a new folder. Just call it expense tracker. And you can name these anything you want, it doesn't really matter. And drag all of these three into your expense tracker folder. Double click, and you have it all in here. So the next thing you do is you open all of these three into new tabs. And you'll notice in this tracker that there are no tabs that actually link to any form. So it is our job to link the forms that we copied over into this sheet. So go into the expenses form and then go click responses, this tab, then go link to sheets and then select existing spreadsheet press select and then select deb's expense tracker or whatever you named yours so we'll press insert and it's going to open that same sheet in a new tab so you can just close this one because it's the same thing and as you can see you can tell this is linked to a form because it has this like purple icon with the list so drag this over close to the expenses tab. And what we're going to do is go to the expenses tab, our old one that has all of this kind of um, temporary data and just copy all of this by selecting this corner here, select all of it, go edit, copy or command or control C and then go into form responses for and then select just this one here and then go edit, paste, or command V. And as you noticed, all of this has copied over along with the colors. So we want to make sure the colors stay intact with any sort of expense that you put in moving forward. So the best way is to just select this whole column E with all the colors and go to format and conditional formatting. And as you've noticed, it says the range is E1 to E13, but we want it to go all the way down to like E100 basically. So I'm just gonna adjust this to E100, just copy that and just do it for every single one. So that is done and when you select it again you can see everything is E1 to E100. So let's test it out and see if the expense form works. So we'll go back to the expenses form tab 
And then if you go to the top right corner, you'll see this eye which says preview. Select that and it'll open the live form. So you can actually go into select today's date and then just go test and then $12 and like select subscriptions, for example, and then press submit. And then we'll go check our expense tracker. And as you can see, that worked. So, and it also has a color. So the color coding works as well, which is awesome. What we have to do next is now link this form back into the monthly overview, the weekly overview. And right now, as you can see, we just submitted that $12 under subscriptions, but it has not shown up here. It's because this formula is still connected to this expenses tab. So what we want to do is rename this to expenses one just so we can rename this new one into expenses. But it's not over yet because what we have to do is go into our monthly overview and change our formula because it used to be called expenses, but now it's called expenses one because it's still linked to this old expenses one tab. But we want it to link to this new expenses tab. So all we have to do, it's really simple. You just have to go into the formula and then delete the one from expenses one. I hope this makes sense. So if you go back to B2, everything is expenses and not expenses one. But if you go to C2, then it's still expenses one. And if you go to B3, it's still expenses one. So what we wanna do is copy the formula we just updated across all of these cells. So I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. And the way you do that is really straightforward. You just select B2 and you just drag all of it down to B13 and then across to column M. And it's sort of refreshed and you can see now that the $12 we just created is now in our spreadsheet. So it means this is now linked to um, this expenses tab, which is great. Okay, so because that is now linked, we need to go onto the weekly overview and do exactly the same thing. So when you go to C1, you zoom in, you'll notice that it's still linked to expenses one. So we want to delete the one. And now it doesn't have it but all the other ones around it still are linked to expenses one. So same deal, just have to select C2 and then drag it all the way down, all the rows and then across the columns. And then the $12 appears again, which is awesome. So it works and it's now linked. Okay, so we have to do the same thing now for the income. So first we can just delete this expenses one tab because we no longer need it. Okay, and then now we go to the income form. And same, same thing, you go to a responses tab, go link to sheets, select existing spreadsheet, press select, then select the expense tracker And again, it creates a new form. Then drag it close to the income tab. And then go to the income, select all of this, edit, copy, go back to the form responses five, and then press this first row and then paste it. And then just check the column and conditional formatting format, conditional formatting, and then change this to C1 to C100. Okay, 
So that is done. And we can do another test with the income form as well. So just go back to the income form, go press preview, and then select today's date. Go press one, test. Next five, four, seven. Okay, so that's been submitted. And then now you go back to your expense tracker. Let me just close this one and this has shown up which means it works and it's linked okay so now we just have to update the same thing um, so we just have to rename this to income one and rename this to income and then we'll go into our income dashboard first and click on b2 and you'll notice it's income one still. So we'll just delete the one anytime it appears. And then drag it all the way down and then across. And again, the 547 has shown up, which is great. It means it's working. And then the last few things we have to do is adjust it in the monthly overview and the weekly overview because there is a column where we have the income. So it's the same thing. Just go and delete the one of income one in the formula. So then you can drag it down and then the $547 shows up, which is awesome. And then same with the weekly overview. So just select P2, delete the ones of income in the formula, and then drag it all the way down. And the 500 shows up. So that's the process. It's a bit more convoluted than my previous tutorials. But um, the really good news is that once you've done this and you own these, you can actually just copy things really, really easily, which I'll show you in part two. Now that this is done, I can delete income one and your expense tracker is ready to go. Hi, welcome to part two of copying over your expense tracker. And this tutorial is very similar to my old tutorials, but I just wanted to put an updated one here just to put it all in one place with part one. So if you've done part one, then all the hard work has been done and you have edit access to your expense tracker and the forms and they're all linked. So that's all you have to do really. If you wanna copy these over again, I would highly recommend keeping a blank version of the expense tracker for yourself in a folder that you copy every year instead of trying to copy from my link because one my link might not be there forever and two you will have to go through all of part one so it really is simple and i'm just going to show you how to do it so you have your folder with your expense tracker that you have all linked all you have to do is select your expense tracker and then go three dots make a copy only of the expense tracker and as you can see everything copies over, including the forms. So create a new folder called dummy expense tracker. And then just drag this over there. And then if you double click in it, I'm just gonna rename these to Okay, so if you open all three of these, you will notice that the expenses and income form have that icon next to it. So it means it's linked to a form. But just to make sure, we wanna see that these expenses are actually linked to the forms that we want. So you just go to manage form under tools and then go to edit form. 
And as you can see, it's named dummy expenses form. So it's this one that you just opened. It's the same one. And if you go to the income one and then go to tools, manage form, edit form, then you'll see it's also the dummy income form. And that is it. It really is that simple when copying over from your own drive. I hope these two tutorials helped you and let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions. Thanks. Bye.